Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more unusual game today, believe me or not, but Joseph Stalin play against Nikolai Yezhov in 1926. And now here is the story. Uh, who was Joseph Stalin? Everybody knows that was the, you know, uh, dictator of the Soviet Russia. But Nikolai Yezhov was the head of NKVD. NK NKVD was an interior ministry of Soviet Union with a lot of functions of intelligent agency and secret police. So uh, that's quite scary. And that's correct. That was very scary organization. And um, Yezhov was not the head of the um, NKVD yet uh, because he became uh, the head in 1936 after torturing and murdering his predecessor and mentor uh, Genrich Jagoda. That's the story. And then for a couple of years, uh, you know, he killed a lot of uh, opposition to Stalin and sometimes a lot of generals, uh, you know, very important people in Soviet Union. Um, and then funny thing is in 1940, Yezhov was killed exactly the same way in the same uh, cell where, where which he designed to kill, uh, you know, the opposition and his opponents and the people he didn't like and Stalin didn't like. And in 1940, of course, Stalin didn't like uh, Yezhov, so he just, you know, sentenced him to that. And uh, that's the story. However, in 1926, uh, we can assume that Joseph Stalin still like uh, Nikolai Yezhov and they play this game. And uh, why do we know the, the game was played? We actually, again, <laughs> don't know that. We are not sure. Uh, there were some articles uh, during the history. Some historians were checking and in late 80s, in some, you know, uh, chess magazines, some Polish masters, uh, historians also, they wrote about this game and a lot of western historians later confirmed that but a couple of years later there was another historian international master uh, who actually said that this falsificate it couldn't happen uh, mostly because the the opening plate uh, was popular and uh, analyzed in 1930 so in 1926 that was impossible so some skilled chess player just prepared it for PR of Joseph Stalin for propaganda that he is very smart intelligent uh, dictator so uh, you know the right person in the right place uh, but without further ado let's jump into the game let's assume that Joseph Stalin played with Nikolai Yezhov, at least according to the legend. So we have e4 by Stalin and uh, c5 by Yezhov. Knight f3, d6, we have Sicilian um, defense on the board. d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4 and knight f6 attacking the pawn. We have knight on c3 defending, knight b on d7, bishop on e2, a6. We have castle. Uh, e6 and now f4 so a very typical uh neither variation in scheveningen you know uh variation in neidorf in sicilian defense uh very popular even nowadays it's still played you know in the 21st century we have b5 uh, a3 uh, preventing this move uh, b4 and here we have bishop on b7 bishop on f3 placing the bishop against um, the bishop on b7 and here we have queen on b6 that's the first inaccuracy queen c7 would be better or rook on c8 that's the the most popular move now queen on b6 actually um pinning this knight because uh, because of the king on g1 but after bishop on e3 actually black has to retreat so that's just losing a tempo we have queen on e2 by stalin bishop on e7 
and g4 so white's gonna you know attack and the black position it looks very very scary we have knight on c5 uh, still um quite strong move now uh, black actually attacking e4 pawn three times and it's defended only twice and also um d7 square is prepared to you know uh the space for this knight uh, if white want to play g5 we have queen on g2 first defending this um, e4 uh, pawn one more time we have castle by black and now rook a on d1 we have rook f on e8 so all of this if you look at this position all of the moves are uh, quite strong and both of the um, uh, players um, develop the pieces move the rooks to the center so everything is, is is pretty good also the kings are you know castle very nice game so far we have g5 and knight f on d7 uh, as planned uh, and here white should probably continue the attack that would be the the strongest f5 and breakthrough and win the game however uh, stalin want to improve the position of the rook first so rook on d2 now the rook can be brought to the um, uh, g file on h file or maybe f file uh, and here we have e5 e5 is attacking the knight on d Four, but also the problem with moving the pawns the pawns can't move back so now this knight actually can jump to the very active square on f5 uh, attacking the dark square bishop and black should just play bishop on f8 and this bishop would be very very happy there uh, bringing extra defense so black would be quite safe there however uh we have first not first but another dubious move uh, knight on e6 uh, so here we have knight on e7 with check rook on e7 and now f5 uh, and here black play knight on d4 with attack on the on the bishop however probably um black could play knight on f4 it could be slightly better uh to you know to just uh, slow down the attack of white because white now have a lot of activity uh f6 was played very strong move now attacking the rook uh and here black could first go for you know exchanging this dangerous bishop this bishop is quite dangerous and you will see why uh, so after exchanging uh, that would be you know probably the best after queen on f3 rook e6 and position of black is it's not really good white stands better but it's still playable of course um, a lot of calculation still still coming um, knight d5 maybe uh, and after exchanging then then the rook would be under attack because of this pawn but then but then there are some moves like like e4 with attack on the queen slowing down everything so a lot of complications a lot of calculation to do here uh, however yes of play rook to e8 uh, and that's quite passive and here stalin starts a quite strong attack which is actually not really visible for the for the engines he played bishop on h5 uh, and now what is the threat the threat of course is f on g7 and then this bishop can attack um f7 with attack on the king on the on the bishop and also the queen can come uh, into the attack very fast a very dangerous situation so g6 has to be played attacking the bishop uh, and now uh, believe me or not engine um, just recommend bishop on g4 uh, bishop on d1 uh, even bishop on e2 as the best move but stalin is not so cowardly he just sacrificed the bishop for the wonderful attack bishop on g6 and now what to do as black uh, if you take f on g6 then uh, f7 is coming and winning the rook so exchange up and then uh, rather easily uh, win by white so h takes on g6 however now is the problem uh, 
H file is, you know, open, it's quite easy to exploit. So Stalin play queen on H3, a really great move and the threat is of course checkmating. So we have knight on E6 defending G7, uh, but now queen on H6 anyway. And here queen on d8, um, bringing the queen to the defense. And here we have rook on f3, so plan of white is, is clear. Rook on h3 and checkmate on h8. How to defend this? Uh, actually, it's uh, not really possible. The game is lost already. Uh, so really wonderful attack. And... Knight on f6 was played in the game, uh, so black gives back some material, we have g takes on f6 uh, and now black actually has nothing more to play, I have to wait uh, and now if rook goes on h3 black actually this queen is quite useful now, can take on f6. Uh, so um, Jezhov play rook on c8 and here we have rook d on f2. So now this rook gonna defend f6 and this rook can go on h3. And now uh, nothing black can do about that. So Jezhov uh, throw the queen as a sacrifice on f6. But then we have rook on f6 and the game should be ended. However, we have a couple of more moves. So rook on c7. Uh, bringing a defender to the seventh rank. We have knight on d5 attacking the rook, uh, bishop on d5, e takes on d5, and knight f8. Here we have bishop on g5 with the plan of, uh, you know, checkmating uh, on g7. Knight on g7 attacking um, the bishop, but now rook on d6. Uh, we have e4 as a last chance, you know, to, uh, to attack, but bishop on e3 slowing down uh, black progress here and also uh, checkmate is of course coming on g7. Now it was not possible because um, this knight was defending f6. Uh, we have rook c on e7, bishop on d4 as planned, now f6, bishop on f6, knight on f6, rook on f6, and in this position Yezhov resigned the game. And he resigned the game, of course, because he is the queen down and uh, rook g7 is the only move he can, you know, uh, prolong the game to five moves, uh, but that's all he can do. Rook on g6. Now rook on e7, uh, rook f on g2, and checkmate is coming, king f8, just exchanging everything here, and of course, uh, that's winning. Uh, so this is why in this position, Jezhov uh, resigned the game. Okay, and one more thing worth to mention uh, is that Stalin was really, really decent player, at least according to uh, Russian Wikipedia. Uh, look at this. This is the article uh, where uh, Stalin uh, is Shahmati is written. Uh, if you cannot read Russian, don't worry. Uh, I checked the translation in Google Translator and it's pretty well um, translated. And look at this. It's quite long article. Uh, and here you can uh, check also this game. Very f famous uh, Partia z Nikolajem Jezhovem, uh, that means um, the game with Nikolai Jezhov. Uh, so it's also all the history about uh, what just happened, uh, like it happened in 1926. And then uh, some of the sources uh, are from 1967, uh, where some hi historians found it. So uh, pretty interesting. If you are um, more interested in this story, I leave the link in the description. Uh, okay, so uh, if you like this story and this game, because this was a pretty nice attacking game, even it was just prepared by some, you know, a skilled chess master, uh, then it's still worth to know it. Uh, press like, and if for some reason you don't like it, press unlike, and leave me a comment, what do you think about this game, because uh, maybe you now have access to some uh, NKVD, archives or maybe to some Soviet Union archives, who knows uh, who subscribed my channel uh, and then I would know uh, more about this game and also other subscribers would know more. 
And if you don't want to uh, miss any other stories on my channel, press subscribe, smash the bell button and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.